today we're about to talk about Jim Maxson, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the reason why Jim Maxson is a little different from Lux Maxson is because Jim Maxson apparently is uglier than Lux Maxson. And there's a lot of people out there saying that gym cells are the problem. You choose to go the other way, which is you get too obsessed with the gym, you turn into a gym cell. Whatever you do, do not become a gym cell. Facts, you hear it here, ladies and gentlemen, you hear it here, my boy. Whatever you do, do not be a gym cell. Now, the whole reason why people are hating on this gym cell, you're going to come on to see later in the video. But going to the gym and making that your entire life and your entire personality is the main issue here. And this is why most of these creators and the people on TikTok are commentating on it, saying that gym cells are horrible. It's mostly because of that fact. Now, if you like going to the gym, I feel like this is a phase everyone goes through when they're like 17 to 22. I'm absolutely guilty of it too. In college, I would go to the gym for like three hours. I would make it my entire personality. I would not go out and drink, eat, have fun with my friends just because I need to be fit. I had to go to the gym tomorrow. Well, that's the problem right there. This guy right here is the prime example of taking things to the extreme, taking things way too seriously, bro. That's the problem with our generation, man. If you're Gen Z, Gen Alpha, we gotta chill, bro. Not everything has to be the extreme, bro. You don't have to go above and beyond if you want to go to the gym. You don't have to go above and beyond if you want to look smacks. Do things in moderation, man. That's how you get bored of things. That's how you, uh, you basically just get burned out. And then one day came and I was like, what the hell am I doing? It's possible to have a six pack, have huge arms, still be healthy, but also have fun. Go out and eat that burger. Go out and eat those fries. Go to the fair. Go out with your friends. Drink beer. Whatever it is. Now, if that's what you want to do, that's your prerogative. I can't tell you what to do. You be you. But I realized that when I'm 70, 80 years old and I can't lift anymore, I'm going to look back at my life and be like, what did I do this for? <clears throat> I will say you did it just to get to 70. I will say you did it to have a long life and to have time with your family and be healthy enough to play around with your grandkids and all of that. But you do make some good points in here. We're about to talk about it. Sure, I was absolutely shredded. I had a six pack. My arms were huge, but I didn't make any memories. Don't be a gym cell. Have fun. Live a good life so so wholesome man hey the reason why i think this guy has a lot of good points in here is when he says the people who go out of their way to limit what they eat so much you know the calorie counters i'm not saying all calorie counters are horrible but you know if you don't have some like weight issue or anything and you just go into the gym to build muscle and like be good at the gym and look good and all that bro you don't want to take it to that excessive level when you start adding math start doing calories calculations that's when it becomes extreme all right that's when it gets to a point where it's like not healthy anymore it, because at some level you want to make the gym fun for you all right the gym is supposed to be an experience all right an experience of you bettering yourself it's something that's fun it's not the same for everyone everybody goes about the gym in a different way so it's not one size fits all okay if you want to go out with your friends and you're in that situation do that <sighs> Bro, isn't this guy so fucking cool? Just, just look at him, man. Look at the max that he's gotten, bro. He said, fuck Jim. I am looking max, but no muscle, nothing. He is not Jim maxed. He is looks maxed. That's more important. So, so like, here's the thing. Like, alphas make good times, but the thing about good times, they make betas. And then what beta, betas can't make alphas, so... You deadass, so you gotta make yourself an alpha so we can have good times again. And I'm like deadass out here trying to make myself an alpha and what like alphas do, they take their problems to the gym and squat the gay away. Now, I hope this gives you a whole lot of context on what we're about to talk about today because you've seen the atmosphere of uh, gym cells and gym culture, right? These young people who go to the gym and take it a little too seriously. Yeah, yeah, all of that. But my point of contention with this whole movement is anything negative that's associated with something that's so good for you can be a little toxic. Now, now, now hear me out, okay? This is my perspective on the issue, okay? I'm someone that's been going to the gym for a while now, probably like nine to 10 years. I love the gym, I've been doing it. For now, it's like almost nothing to me. But when I see people going out of their way to make fun of people that just go to the gym, maybe these guys are introverts, right? They don't know much about getting the ladies and doing all of that, right? And they're considered so-called gym cells, right? Because for them, going to the gym was their first step 
to self improvement. But when you go on TikTok and see everybody hating on them, all the TikTok commentators, they sit there and just hate on these people, make memes about them. It's kind of sad, bro. It's like at th at that point, yeah, they were taking a little extreme and all of that. But you shouldn't be making fun of someone that's doing something so positive in their life, trying to make a change and improve themselves. Okay, maybe there are communities out there that can help these guys get outside a little more, do things, work on their social life. But at least they were taking their step to better themselves. And the chronic gym cells that these people talk about are the losers on the internet that wear masks to the gym. The people who are doing everything in the gym to sensationalize their audience and get more people to follow them, who will go out of their way, do some crazy things, do skits in the gym to make people who are chronically in the gym, who love working out so much to make those people look weird. Bro, it's the internet. Everything is so overblown and exaggerated. That's what the internet is made for. And that, this video is very important because we're about to watch a video about a lady talking about a date that she had planned and apparently the guy was a gym cell and i'm about to go off on her i'm not holding back okay some of you fucking men on dating apps need to realize that they're not there for you to find a gym buddy uh, okay that's actually kind of true but like what do you want me to say bro like uh, you know i go to the gym that's my hobby right and i want someone who can do that with me uh if you pull up to the gym with me like think about it think about how much risk that will be on the girl's end I don't give a shit how much pre-workout you eat for breakfast. You should probably go to the doctor. I want a girl who's gonna go to the gym with me. I want a girl who loves the gym. I want a girl who's a muscle mommy. If you want it that bad, and you wanna make your entire profile, everything you want me to know about you is that you like the gym, why don't you go to the gym and find a girl there? Again, there's nothing wrong with stating your preferences, all right? If there's a gym cell out there that wants to have a gym cell girl, like, you are entitled to get that, my boy. There's nothing wrong. Don't listen to this lady on that topic. The only good point she is making, though, she is saying to you that, yeah, if you're on a dating app and your entire personality is just, like, gym shit, bro, that's probably not gonna work out for you. Maybe, like, explore more, all right? I think that would be, like, a theme of this whole topic about gym cell and why going to the gym has become a weird thing now because people make it too much of their personalities all right find other things to make the gym fun with okay like find other hobbies that you can incorporate into that maybe content creation maybe wearing masks in the gym maybe doing some craziness all right learning some new skill going outside talking to people i think looks maxing and gym max and all of that they all come together to make the one whole supreme being right the one whole zor is what we're going for all right and to make that you have to have all of these things taken care of the gym the looks the eyebrows all of that shit you got to get that taken care of they think telling me that they spend their sundays meal prepping is gonna like make me want to date them that sounds like the least fun activity i could fucking think of that's actually probably good for them because a person like you would definitely not add to their life in any way don't get me wrong, I love working out, love going to the gym, but like it's that's not part of my personality. <laughs> so meal prepping is part of a personality now. Dude, what the fuck, bro? You can hate gym cells, I get it, but this is just a weird level. Um, that's kind of just a normal thing that people do. Cool. Well, that was awesome. We went through all of that, ladies and gentlemen, and you stuck with me. So for your gift at the end of this video, I want to tell you that um thank you very much for watching the whole thing and if you are a gym cell or if you're not a gym cell i just hope that you do actually go to the gym and you do actually try to improve yourself because that is at the end of the day what life is about man like if you're not learning something new or trying to do something new something different explore some other parts of your i was about to say body but just like do something bro like if you're not doing things, learning things, changing things, you're not living, man. That's what life is about, and people are gonna go on the internet and criticize everybody. I criticize everybody, but don't give a fuck about what they say. If you're a gym cell, if you're a looks maxer, bro, keep doing what you're doing, and I hope, you know, you keep doing it and you get good at it, all right? Thank you guys for watching the video. Without further ado, bye-bye. Mwah, mwah, peace.